It's a great color here. And you know, each and every day, I get to do so many cool things and get to, get to see a lot of cool stuff. And I, I kind of thought that I've pretty much seen everything in the area. Not true, because I have never been inside a goodness me that is celebrating 40 years of I have founder, Janet Jacks, going, you've never been in here before? How is that possible? Well, I'm glad you finally well, came. Great to, it's time. Great, great to meet you. I love this. As soon as you walk in, all the fresh produce just jumps out at you yes. and all the colors. All are certified so organic, every single one. Yes. Let's go back, because 1981 is when you, was when you started That's it. That's right. And, and the reason you started it was why? Just after we were married, we watched my father-in-law suffer and die over a two-year period with the complications of type 1 diabetes. It was very traumatic and sad. And halfway during that journey, my husband also developed the same autoimmune condition. And my father-in-law died at 56 after following everything the doctors told him to do. Right. And I realized I need to find a way that that journey doesn't happen to our family. And so I set out to find some answers. Were you and saying to yourself, goodness me, why isn't there a natural food market? <laughs> I didn't know in the beginning that it was yeah. food, but when you think about what you can control, you're eating three, four, five, six times a day. Yeah. That is what you can control. And I began to discover what the power is that food has for us. And uh, there was no place to get say, the in, food. I was going to say, in 1981, was there anything? There was really nothing, no place you could get food. And I wanted a natural food market here in Hamilton so that we could shop there and I hoped a few other people as well. well. So you've been on the, you've changed locations on the mountain since 1981. Yes, but this is, the, this is the location on Upper, upper, upper Gage, or Upper James. Um, upper Gage. Upper Gage, sorry, we're on Upper Gage, I'm getting confused here. <laughs> but this just has done a, a renovation. Yes, yeah. we've been here a number of years, but we just did our renovation. We're just finishing it up now, and that's pretty exciting. But we have been, when we started, it was 1,400 square feet. Mm -hmm. And then we have expanded about eight times through the years and moved because we needed more space. What, what makes you special? Like, how do you choose what goes on the shelf? We have always been ahead of the curve. We've always been leading the way because people didn't know what natural food was when we began. And they didn't know about recycling and they didn't know about organic food. They didn't understand that food had power. It can be intimidating too, right? It can be intimidating, but a store like this is not intimidating because you see groceries, you see tea, you see crackers, you right. see cereal, you know, you see healthy meat, you see you see the same kinds of categories you see in grocery store, and but everything here has to meet a certain standard in order to be here. And has a story to it. And many of them have really unique stories, right. absolutely. And you know, uh, the wonderful thing about Goodness Me is we offer wholesome, fresh, healing, healthy food that's life-giving. and. We have a team of people who read the labels and do that work for us. So when you come in, you know everything meets that standard. And there's a number of locations right around the uh, right around the region. We're going to be spending the morning with you. Okay, let's uh, let's dive into some of the products next with okay. uh, with Janet, and then we'll get into we'll get into the kitchen. We'll taste a few of those, and then uh, a lot of neighborhood collaborations that you guys have done over the years and continue to do. Yes. We'll do that when we return. To goodness me. And I'm feeling good. Welcome back to Goodness Me in Hamilton. The seasons are a changing, hence cold and flu season it is upon us. Great to be with founder Janet Jacks, who has some, some great ideas to help you out. She has four products in front of us, but let's start with that tickle. And we all know that tickle. That's I get it through the tickle. And tickle you know something, you know something's coming. Some people get a little sore throat or they get a runny nose. So what does, what that, does mean? that mean? That means that your body, your immune system has been fighting for 24 to 48 hours to try to get on top of that and it hasn't been able to. And so when you get that first tickle, that's not when things have begun. They began yesterday and you need to respond quickly and aggressively. And what are some things that you can do? What, what did your grandma do? What did your great grandma well, do? Well, it was chicken noodle soup. <laughs> chicken noodle soup or chicken soup with the bone broth, which is very nourishing for your gastrointestinal tract where your immune cells are. And so that is good. It, it has traditionally had a nickname of, you know, 
a penicillin activity. Right. In other words, we know the immune response coming from having chicken soup. So the, not not the package dry one, the yeah. one you make from scratch. Then you scratch. make one from scratch. Uh, now, when, you're coming also, down, when you're coming down the aisles here, it can be intimidating for people not knowing because there I'm are so many I'm going to go back to your question. Okay. you got to cut the sugar. As soon as you get that first sign that your immune system can't get on top of it, you got to cut the sugar out. you got to get in a nice hot bath and raise your body temperature. You need to get rest. You need to get out your vitamin C and your zinc and your um, antiviral tonic and things that will help boost your immune system because you need to get on top of it today. You need to stop it today when before that tickles it's coming. worse tomorrow. Okay, so these, the, what do you have on the table then? Now, this, what is what have, you, this is what you need to get to when you... This is immune prevention. This is prevention strengthening your immune system okay. because we need to be doing that in order to make sure that we have a good, strong immune system. Starting with vitamin D. Vitamin D is considered a vitamin, but actually has hormone-like activity. And it is needed by every cell in the body. Every cell has receptors for vitamin D, and it does so many things. But when it comes to immunity, in one study years ago, when children had half the sufficiency of the bottom of, we want to be 75 to 250, somewhere in there. When they had half of that bottom end of sufficiency, they had 11 times as many colds. It's a really important for everything with your immune system, from, from colds to cancer, to have enough vitamin D. I want to make sure we get to all these products before we run yes. out of time. Now, zinc. Zinc. You, mentioned, you mentioned zinc. We need to have zinc to stop the replication of viruses in the body. The hard thing is making zinc absorb in the body and get where it needs to go. Is this what and this friend is what about? And that's what quercetin does. So oh, quercetin is, is anti-inflammatory, immune boosting, but also helps us absorb the zinc. So we take them at the same These moment. These two together. Take them together. These are friends. They, they, get, are friends. they, get, they get along One together. One of each at the same time. Now, deep immune is an adaptogenic tonic. So the change of season puts a lot of stress on our immune system. and. Deep Immune is good to take from the fall through to the spring as a daily tonic and it is adaptogenic herbs based on Chinese medicine that helps strengthen our resistance. Okay. And then surprisingly melatonin because... It's a sleep thing. Yes, right? we think of sleep when we think of melatonin, but um, more recently we have learned that melatonin also has immune properties. So taking a little bit of melatonin at bedtime can help your sleep but also your immune system. And this is a preventative approach where you're going to strengthen your immune system in four different ways sure. to prepare yourself so that when that first tickle comes and you just get rid of the sugar, get a little extra rest, hop in a hot bath, get some chicken soup, you're going to be able to fight that and make it go away that day. I feel if we had a half hour, we would still probably run out of time because <laughs> you have so much to say and it's all such fantastic information and you've passed that along to the individuals that work in your stores and they have that information as we well. We have so you'll knowledgeable get all staff here who can answer okay. your questions uh, and one, give you good guidance. One of yeah. nine locations around the region. Uh, we're going to go into the kitchen. Okay. All right. We're going we're gonna to maybe, I don't know if he's cooking up chicken noodle soup, but he's cooking up some butter chicken with Pekka. It here at always the... starts with good, healthy food. Good, healthy food. We're doing that. We come back to Goodness Me on Morning Live. We've uh, changed locations here at uh, Goodness Me on Upper Gage in Hamilton. We're in the kitchen with the master chef himself, uh, Pekka Woods. Nice to meet you, Pekka. Nice to meet you. Okay. The aromas are uh, coming off of this, which I, I'm assuming, I'm guessing here, that's butter chicken. That is my favorite Indian meal, butter chicken. Mine too. Okay. Why is, why is butter chicken so awesome? Because of the butter. <laughs> <laughs> Bingo! Butter is my favorite ingredient. So for, for you guys, th because through the pandemic, were the hot tables, were you able to serve stuff within the stores? Yeah, uh, we, we, we pulled our hot tables down because pandemic, we didn't want too many people right. crowding around. But as the restrictions lift, we've opened up our hot tables. We're looking forward to opening up our salad bars as well. Nice. Let's start with the hot tables. Winter's coming, nice warm lunch. And you're all about there's no secrets. There's no there secrets. There are no any. secrets. You give a hundred chefs one recipe, you get a hundred different results. Right. So you, this, like this recipe, is available. And it if is. you don't want to make it yourself, you can be. Uh, we sell the chicken. You sell, we the, sell chicken. the sauce. Okay. Uh, what are you using for rice here? That is uh, keto rice. Keto is. Um, it's not a fad, but it's. Uh, but it's. It, a lot of people like the, the keto diet. So instead of regular rice, a lot of a lot of carbohydrates, we use cauliflower. Now, That's just shredded up cauliflower. Shredded cauliflower, salt, black pepper, a little bit of oil. 
Right. And then this goes into the oven? Into the convection oven. Convection absolutely. oven. Magic um, television, is that one hot? That one's that one's hot. So yeah, let's, uh, you, let's pull it out. Grab that. Um, nice and hot, 425. Um, so I get a little How bit long? of a char in it. About 15 minutes, not that's long, because okay. I want a little bit of texture on there, like rice. Okay, so then we're actually making a little... We're making a little plate. A little plate here. Because this is the one, so it's called everything but chicken. Correct, so it's a vegetarian sauce. It does have butter in it, but it's a vegetarian sauce, and you can put tofu in there, you can put cauliflower so in there. So then you're adding whatever you want. Correct. Whatever you want in. So it's So it's bring it to a boil, in goes the ingredients, nice and fast. Especially for folks on the go these days. Okay, so let's bring let that in some, there, and then I'll bring your chicken over here for you. So the rice is it, it's just a great textural difference for the sauce. There goes the rice, and then just the chicken going. Is this chicken in here? Or is this tofu in here? That is chicken in there. We use um, antibiotic-free, ethically raised chicken. We use the same proteins that we sell in our store in our kitchens, which kind of makes okay. sense. Yeah, right. And then just some of the other products that you have uh, available in the store. Yeah, because we kept on going with our grab and go during the pandemic. So my favorite is our is our vegan kale salad with coconut bacon. We've got a, ta a, pa a taco power bowl. We've got a chef salad. We've got a Greek salad. Lots of different sandwiches and wrapped. This week, the next two weeks, we're on that brisket sandwich is on sale, as well as our smoky chicken pocket, both of which you can get heated up in our turbo chef. Because eating healthy is important. But it needs to be delicious and uh, fun. Like good, like uh, Janet was telling me off camera, like it's, it's, it's healthy, wholesome, delicious food. It's healthy, wholesome, delicious food. It, you will live longer if you eat our food, but it's right. gotta taste good. Taste good. Um, our CEO is a big fan of the brisket sandwich. Um, and he thinks everybody should have it. My favorite is the Chipotle Is this Is this camera, burrito. is this camera, or is this edible? Can I that eat this? That is so edible. Can I eat this? Okay, Go let's for do that. It. Let's do that. See we, what you there, think. There's something big happening at the store here at Upper Gage because they're doing uh, their grand reopening. Well, they're open now, but they're doing, they've been doing some renovations on it. We're going to talk to store manager Richard when we come back. And also their partnership with uh, Neighbor to Neighbor, a very important organization on Hamilton Mountain. I'm going in. Do it. Thanks, back up. <laughs> Oh. Goodness me in Hamilton on Upper Gage that is getting a facelift and those rentals are coming to an end, which I can only assume has store manager Richard pretty happy. Good morning, Richard. How you doing? Thank you. Very good. Thank you. So what, what's it been like through the rentals? Because you have been open the whole time. We have been open. Uh, we're really excited to be coming to an end of them. Uh, it's much more comfortable in here. Uh, if anybody wasn't like, what type of what type of rentals did you did you do within the store? Uh, we did a lot of things, everything from uh, giving us new floors to new shelving, new refrigeration, uh, revamping our eatery. How do you organize this? Like, I, I when you first walk in, you see this, right? All these all these beautiful colors. Like, that's that was on purpose because you want people to see the the fresh organic food. Absolutely, uh, it's the you know great visual impact when you're coming into the store. It's where you start eating healthy, uh, great organic produce. So any um, anytime you're you're unveiling things to folks, you want to have a bit of a of, of a soiree, and that's that's coming up when. Uh, absolutely, that's coming up on uh, the 18th through the 21st is our reno re reveal. Uh, we're really excited to invite uh, our customers back to see what's changed and and uh, and just experience this new face. And within and with, within the reno reveal, there's also something else that you guys are doing too. Absolutely. So uh, we've got a great partnership with uh, neighbor to neighbor. We're running a food drive throughout uh, the weekend. Uh, next. Uh, Few day, days after that, right. uh, from, the, from the from the 18th to the 28th, and happy to uh, actually happy to have Val. Oh, hello, Val. We have Val from uh, neighbor to neighbor with us uh, here this morning. Good morning. Good to meet you. Good morning, Tim. How are awesome. you? I'm doing awesome. And neighbor to neighbor, how long how long has neighbor to neighbor been in, in Hamilton specifically up on the Hamilton Mountain? Over just over 35 years. Just over 35 years. And, yeah. And, and we've we've done stuff before, more in your community gardens and getting yeah. getting that fresh, healthy food out to folks, but also right. through your food drives too. Yes, yeah. It's, you know, food drives are so important uh, along with financial donations that people give. Those are the two things that help us to keep our food bank going and to provide healthy options to folks. Yeah, so when, yeah. when, we're, ta when we're talking about those healthy options when it comes to canned goods, what are some what are some good ideas for, for folks to kind of yeah. center on? Yeah, so there's, I mean, there's some great options here. So, so canned beans are a great option, canned vegetables and fruit, though, especially ones that are lower in salt, lower in sugar. Uh, you know, these are staples that we all use in our in our kitchen, and uh, so those are great things to have on hand. Anything, el anything else that maybe we don't have here? 
that would be other good uh, ideas? Yes, so, you know, rice, uh, pasta, like whole, whole grain pasta, healthy grains, healthy cereals, uh, crackers, granola bars, all those, you know, those things that we love to have on hand. Yeah, and we're, we're always talking about, yes, it's important during the, the holiday season for these, for these food drives, but it is an yeah. all year round thing too. Absolutely, yeah. yes. The people uh, really think about, about it around the holidays, which is wonderful. But you're right, you know, when January comes, we still need to put food on the table for our families. So. Great to see you, Val. Best, best of luck. Okay, so there it is. So uh, November the 18th, the unveiling of uh, Goodness Me and their, uh, their beautiful manners are happening. And then the uh, food drive is going from November 18th to the 28th.